Hi everyone, I'm Kathy from the Wilton Decorating Room. Today I'm going to show you how to make Italian meringue buttercream. This buttercream is perfect for icing cake smooth and it makes a great filling for cakes and macarons and it's great for simple piping. Today I'm going to be using my buttercream to decorate some cupcakes. This buttercream is not too sweet or too heavy. It's perfectly light and silky and will truly melt in your mouth. Let's get started. To make this buttercream, you're gonna need one and a quarter cups of sugar, two thirds cup of water, five egg whites, half a teaspoon of salt, two cups of butter, softened to room temperature, and two teaspoons of vanilla. You're also gonna need a candy thermometer, a small saucepan, and I would recommend a stand mixer with a whisk attachment. It's important to make sure that your mixer bowl is clean. If you're unsure, simply wipe down the inside with a paper towel and a little vinegar. In a small saucepan, combine your sugar and water and cook over medium heat. Stir until the sugar is dissolved. As soon as it's dissolved, stop stirring. If you continue to stir past that point, it could cause your sugar to crystallize, which could make your buttercream grainy. Attach your candy thermometer and let your syrup cook. When your syrup reaches 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 116 degrees Celsius, you can start whipping your egg whites and salt. Start on low speed and gradually increase your speed to high. You'll want to be careful at this point not to overmix our eggs. One way to check is to stop whipping and pull out your whisk. You'll want your egg whites to hold a peak. The goal is to have our egg whites come to stiff peaks right as our syrup reaches 240 degrees or softball stage. It's the process of pouring the hot syrup over the egg whites that'll make them safe for you to eat. That's why reaching 240 degrees is so important. You'll want to make sure that you keep your mixer running so your eggs don't become scrambled eggs. It's also important to turn your speed down to low. This will avoid causing the hot syrup to splash out and burn you. You don't want your syrup to splash around the top of the bowl either to crystallize. Once all the syrup is added, increase your speed and mix on high until the bowl feels about room temperature. This can take up to 15 minutes. Gradually add your butter one tablespoon at a time. Let your butter fully incorporate before adding another piece. You want to make sure that you stop and scrape down the sides of the bowl a few times. As you're adding your butter to your meringue, it's going to look curdled or broken. Don't worry, it'll all come together, just keep mixing. If you've gotten to the point to where all your butter is added and your buttercream still looks too soft, you might have added your butter too soon. Don't let this worry you either. You can simply place your bowl in the fridge for a few minutes or just keep whipping it. After all your butter has been added, it should look like a light, fluffy buttercream. Add two teaspoons of vanilla, mix for another minute or two, and we're done. The natural color is a pretty pale yellow, perfect for icing cakes or decorating cupcakes. If you decide to color this icing, just know that meringue buttercreams don't take too well to brighter dark colors. I'm gonna use this buttercream to finish off some cupcakes. I have a tip 1M and I'm just gonna pipe some simple rosettes. Like I mentioned earlier, this buttercream is so silky smooth, perfect for icing cakes and ideal for piping. It comes out of the bag so easily, yet firm enough to hold its shape. If your hands tend to cramp up from piping with American buttercream, you should really give this one a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed learning how to make Italian meringue buttercream. If you make this recipe, make sure you tag us. We'd love to see your work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. I'll be sure and get back to you. I'm Kathy from the Wilton Decorating Room. Thanks for watching.